Welcome back, everyone. I'm back after a two and a half month hiatus. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather right now, too, but I'll get more into that in a later video. This is now the eight month update of our 25 way graphene coatings longevity test. And as usual, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course, rinse it off before inspecting all the hydrophobic properties of everything. This hood sits outside of our shop here in East Texas, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's washed and rotated once a month until the last one fails. Some of you have asked, but Scott, this hood test isn't the same as other YouTubers doing multiple products tested on an actual car. Well, you're right. And the reason I don't like those tests is because it's exposing each product to a different type of road grime or water spray, etc. That is, what is on the door right behind the fender is going to react differently than the hood or the trunk lid or even the front bumper. So what my tests do is expose all of the products to the same variables. If it lasts for two years here, does that mean it'll last two years for you? Probably not, but we'll get to see likely what will last longest for each of the products compared. I've been doing tests like these on YouTube now for about seven years, and there's a reason they're so popular. They work and they're unsponsored. No companies to keep happy, no products to push. The only way this channel survives is from viewers like you. If you see a product in here that you're gonna buy anyway, please use the Amazon Associates link in the video description to buy them so I can continue to buy new products to test. It's the last 30 days weather as well as the lifetime weather that this hood is seen is on your screen here. Also check out my awesome spreadsheets in the video description to find out more about these products and as always links to where you can purchase them in the video description as I said earlier. If you'd like to further support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here to keep everything unsponsored and without, without any outside influence. So without further ado, let's do further and see how things are holding up. All right, Drive Auto Nano. Starting to look a little worse for wear, but not to where we would call it weak. 4-2 graphene spray, failed at about the 30 day mark. 303, both the new and the old batches have been looking like this since the 30 to 90 day mark, and it really hasn't changed. So I don't know if at what point you call those failed. We're getting pretty close though. Graphene pre-production sample A looking good. Glosset graphene also looking very hydrophobic. Pre-production sample B, there were actually two on there and both have failed. IGL Easy Graphene looking pretty good. Four two ten H Graphene, that's the inexpensive Amazon only coating. I think it's about $30, something like that. It wasn't very expensive. Still doing all right. The Ilho $3 coating had failed right early. Drive Auto Graphene. Looks in, looking a little weaker than the Nano non-graphene product you can see there. And moving on down, Ethos Resist, Graphene Spray, and their Graphene Matrix coating. You can see both of those are doing okay. They're showing a little bit of signs of degradation, but still hanging in there as is Adam's Graphene Spray and Adam's Graphene 10H coating. Coating is obviously doing a little bit better than the sprays. Extreme Solutions starting to look kind of weak there. I don't know, would you guys call that one weak? I think it's it's kind of borderline right now for both of them. And graphene, uh, glass parency graphene and graphene spray. Kind of in the same boat, not quite as bad as Extreme Solutions, but getting there. And then IGL Kenzo Standard and then the graphene product. Definitely, definitely looks like the standard is repelling water better than the graphene version. You're just comparing them side by side there. They're both still hanging in there, but I would say the standard definitely looks like it's repelling better than the graphene. What do you think? just see the coatings extreme solutions definitely a little worse for wear compared to the others on down to the bottom the turtle wax graphene ceramic paste 
didn't last very long. No surprises there. SPS Graphene holding up extremely well. Turtle Wax Graphene, Max Wax, and Flex Wax. And this has been consistent with all my other tests too. Flex Wax is definitely doing a little better than Max Wax. Max Wax is almost to the point where I would call that failed. What do you think? You want to call Graphene Max Wax failed? Yeah, let's call it failed. Everything, for the most part, hanging in there. I think the biggest surprise for me right there is 4210H Graphene. Very inexpensive product. Very hydrophobic. Doing quite well so far. So there's your update, guys. If you see anything you like, feel free to purchase them through the Amazon Associates links. And if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again, and we will see you soon.